So now let's talk about motion sketch in Cinema 4D by using the Cappuccino tool. So to do the motion sketch, we need to first bring in an object right over here. So I'm going to go over here and bring in a cube just like this. And over here, now if I don't want to add in a manual keyframe, I can use Cappuccino to capture my motion. To access Cappuccino, you have to go to Animate right over here. And from here, you can see the option for Cappuccino, just like this. So if I were to click this, you can see that the Cappuccino menu actually appears. So what you want to do is you want to work with real time here. The range is the project that is the entire project where I want my animation to go through. So before you actually go over here, you want to check what you want to keyframe. So you want to keyframe position, scale and rotation right over there. So I'm going to bring this out on the beginning right over here, just like this, because this is where I want the keyframing to happen from. So I, I can bring it to 10 frame if I want the keyframing to happen from the 10 frame. In my case, let me just uh, stick to five uh, frame number five, because that is what I want to do. So now what I'm going to do is this is my project. My rotation position and scale is what I want to do. So let's say I just want to uh, work around with position right now. I'll get to the position which I want to animate with and then I can simply move around this as I click on start real time. So frame size is this and you can also uh, click on start and end frame right over here. If you were to choose uh, the, preview, uh, the preview or the render time right over here, just by the user, you can select out whether you want to uh, work around with the start and end frame. In my case, I'm going to choose the entire project. So it records everything just like that. So it says start at the current time. So that is where I want the recording to be. So I'm going to click on start real time. And then simply once I click on this, you can see that this button is a bit active, maybe a bit hard to see, but it is active right now. And now I'm simply going to move it. And as I move it, the keyframes will be recorded. So if I were to click and drag this around, you can see that all the keyframes are recorded just like that and all my 90 frames. So if I were to play this around, you can see that all of the keyframes have been recorded just like that. So that is how uh, Cappuccino works out. So you can go over here, play this around, and that is how you can sketch out motion. And this is in 3D space. So it created a motion path according to how I captured the frame. So that is how you can use Cappuccino to do a motion sketch inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.